can a laptop handle high quality visual effects? That is the question and we're here to answer it today. For visual effects artists that travel a lot or need to be on set, they need a laptop that is going to be both powerful and portable. This is HP's ZBook Studio G9. It's thin, it's light, it's powerful, it's got some incredible specs, but can it hold up for visual effects? To join our PC platoon, a new computer needs to be able to do these things. It needs to be able to handle simulations. It needs to be able to render at high qualities. It needs to be at least pretty lightweight if it's going to be thrown on our backpacks and traveled around the world. So we decided to put this laptop to the test. Let's start with the portability check. Obviously, we don't want to throw our backs out lugging this thing around. If we did, we could just pack up one of our big workstations and take that instead. So as we can see, it passes the portability check. It is lightweight enough for us. We actually have the original laptop that Production Crate was built on. Let's just compare the two weights of our oldest laptop and newest laptop. If you're a visual effects supervisor or any VFX artist that needs to be on set, this laptop does an incredible job. We put to the test on mocap and the results were phenomenal. This laptop has a 120 hertz refresh rate. It is a dream color monitor, which is very crisp, high quality, real colors and it is a 16 by 10 display not 16 by 9 they decided to turn it up just a little bit let's get into the actual meat of this computer somehow this laptop was able to achieve even more power by taking nvidia's a5500 gpu and somehow squeezing it inside with 24 gigs of vram this thing is a complete monster it is an rtx core which means it is perfect for 3d tasks like ray tracing while that all sounds pretty awesome we we want to actually put it to the test and see how it does. Luckily, Mike is working on some really cool projects right now, and we decided to use those as our benchmarks. He has this model that has over 50 million polygons, and he wanted to see if he could take that into Marmoset to bake out 8K textures. He also did the same test on one of our biggest, most powerful machines to have a good benchmark to compare the two. So how did the ZBook perform? I gotta say, I was completely astounded by the results. The ZBook actually outperformed our other machine. Here are the specs of the two, just so you know what we're looking at. The ZBook was able to bake these out in under two minutes. The fact that it was able to do it at all is completely amazing, but the fact that it was able to beat our other machine is huge. And it was able to do this without overheating, another known common issue with laptops. That's awesome, but what about for things like a virtual studio where Unreal Engine is going to be, or if it isn't already, the industry standard? Can this little laptop actually hold up using Unreal Engine? We decided to import the New York City scene from the Epic Store. This city is huge, it is massive, tons and tons of detail. Can this laptop handle it? And yeah, yeah, we can do it essentially at real time. And this is at full quality. This has motion blur enabled. We're seeing 30 frames per second in the editor on a laptop. So the screen capture is running right now, which gives us a little bit lower of a frame rate, around 30, 40 FPS. But without the screen capture, we are running on 60 FPS. But in the unlit version, we actually got to the 70, 75 FPS, which is wild. We also decided to do a few simulation tests because I'm sure a bunch of the VFX artists watching this would be interested. This laptop has 64 gigs of RAM, which is more than enough for many programs like After Effects, which we use in house and simulating pretty big simulations. We all have a pretty bad habit here of leaving a bunch of different software applications open and running at the same time. And luckily this laptop can handle our abuse. It has a core i9 CPU, which is perfect for our bad habits. Now this was the most powerful laptop that we could get our hands on to test out to see whether visual effects is actually viable on a portable computer. After running this laptop through the test, I can comfortably say, yeah, it does pretty much everything I would need it to do. We haven't had it for very long, but all the tests that we put it through, I am extremely impressed by the results. Now, if you think this is the right laptop for you, we put a link down in the description below. If you need a laptop for going on set 
or for travel, this could be a great option. If you already have a powerful desktop computer, don't feel like you're leaving it behind because you can always use a laptop to remote into that. Check the link in the description below if you wanna know more about that laptop. And if you're thinking about upgrading or you have any notes or questions about this laptop or any builds that you're looking into in the future, please let us know in the comments below. That's it for today. If you wanna see more videos like this, like more gear, more technical stuff, let us know in the comments below. Later, creators.